Welcome everyone, Marcelo is my name. I am the Niche Fragrance Collector, and one thing that I'm always banging on about, and actually on that, banging on, my son-in-law who's English, he, uh, whenever we carry on about something, he says, oh, quit banging on. So I'm always banging on about don't blind buy. Blind buying is a dangerous business. What if skin chemistry for you is different to me? What I smell, what you're smelling are two different things. And then add to that that sometimes the notes that you see are not necessarily the notes that you understand once you smell the fragrance. And plus, niche perfumery is not cheap. So, what am I doing here? So, we're doing things a little bit different today. For those who are familiar with Mate Talk, the idea of Mate Talk is that it's one continuous roll. And that means that I just got to keep my brain fresh and keep moving. So today we're going to do a Mate Talk style while I open this box. Inside this box is an incredible fragrance, which I'm hoping will be um, because I haven't smelt it before. So it's Torino 22. But before I go any further, let me tell you the setup. So this is camera one. This is camera two. This is camera three. This is camera four. And camera five, do that again. That person behind camera four is none other than my financier, who is my wife. My wife. <laughs> For those who've seen the movie, um, <laughs> Princess Bride. She's not a witch, she's your wife. All right, so what we're gonna do is that there aren't gonna be no cuts. We're gonna keep moving. I've got Sandra on the gimbal, and um, when I mentioned to her that I had blind bought something, she, she did the effective look at me that wives do and communicate a thousand different messages. And so I'm hoping that this blind buy of Torino 22 is going to be spectacular because otherwise, well, this will be a good lesson on things not to do. All right. So if you want to save your marriage, a good lesson on you really should listen to your wife. And I've also mic'd Sandra up <laughs> so you can hear her. All right. So no cuts other than the different camera angles, but here we go. Actually, one thing before I cut the, the ribbon on this thing, one thing that I was, this is the first time I've actually ordered off the Zergeoff website, only because, as I said, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a pedantic um, a tester. I, I don't want to, I test thoroughly before I buy anything. Um, and so this is the first time I've actually bought off the Zergeoff website. And I love this. One thing that's happening, which is unfortunate, there's a lot of, uh, illegal copies that are out there, people just making these copies, and uh, it looks like the real thing. So, if you buy off the Zerjoff website, this came in. Man, I was super impressed. So, it's a, a warning if any of this stuff has been tampered with, and there's this plastic sort of um, rope around it, uh, super sealed, then don't open it, take photos, and send it off to Zerjoff, which I think is, is pretty good. I've always said Zerjoff are ahead of the game. With, maybe, maybe other people do this too. I just don't know because I don't blind buy. Here we go. All right. Alora. So I'm opening up. You don't blind buy. You don't blind buy. Until today. Until today. Well, I, I thought, well, I'll tell you why. Why did I do it? So I love Torino 21. And shortly after I released the video of the seven fragrances that I enjoy a lot, Torino 22 came out. But not only did 20, Torino 22 come out, they also released the Zerjoff website, a special offer as a result of that. So you were getting an incredible deal, there was a discount, plus free delivery. Now in Australia, we, are, we can't be further away from anywhere in the world, US or um, the, uh, Europe, and it costs a million dollars. I mean, just to send anything, it costs a million dollars to get across, free delivery. And so I was so tempted, and then I was euphoric, I felt good because the video was, prop it was actually doing so well and I thought, you know what, I'm going to blind buy. And so I did. Um, so here it is. Um, so here is the, uh, the packaging. This looks beautiful, by the way. And so all I know about Torino 21, uh, 22 is that it is the follow-on from Torino 21. And I happen to have Torino 21 here. Let me just reach across. So here's this beautiful fragrance. Now, for those who haven't watched the video that I did, my wife calls this a perfect perfume. And that's why she doesn't like it. Because it's just too perfect. So before we begin anything, 
let me spray the perfect perfume because I want to compare it against Torino 22. So, all right, let me open this baby up. So, beautiful ribbon. Ooh, more sealing. I love this. So, there's another seal on this here. So, they're really making sure. I thought you were going to fast forward this part. So, no talking. I was going to fast forward this part, but I'm not going to because I'm going to keep talking while I'm doing this thing for you guys. Or oh, then again, oh, here it is. I will fast forward. All right, so here is the opening. Boom. And what? They sent me two fragrances? <laughs> <laughs> and something else in here. So let me just put this away. So I got... Um, I got something here, which I thought you had that one. It's Tony Yomi again, and uh, I got that we're currently using our the, the existing Tony Yomi like crazy, and so as a result, I uh, decided that I needed to buy another one, and plus because I needed to spend three hundred euros to get to the free delivery, so I thought it was I I I, I wanted to have a safe bet. And then I wanted to have the gamble, the risk. Here it is. Now the most, you should see Sandra's face. The most that I know about this is that it has a eucalyptus opening. And I don't know, me and eucalyptus, are not the best of friends because for us here in Australia, we use eucalyptus oil as a cold remedy. Um, and so this is why like Royal Mail at Mayfair by Creed, I'm not a big fan. So very dangerous. Sandra, you go first. You want I'm, I'm going to spray it on you first. Mm -hmm. Wow, I get the first spray, <laughs> the virgin spray. I'm cheating because I actually want I want the uh, I want the opening notes from the air. Mm, that smells good. It's nice. No, I'm not getting eucalyptus. Yeah, no, I'm not either. Well, not yet. Wow. Oh, okay. No, oh, just a tinge, <laughs> like a herbal. Mm, it's kind of leathery though. Mm, different. This is this is completely different. So if I'm smelling, wow. So Torino 22, uh, 21, I was gonna spray again, but there's no need. Torino 21 has a very herbal, lemon sort of vibe to it. 22. <coughs> That's my phone. Wow. So I'm not getting any of the eucalyptus component of it. That, that original fear of, if anything, on the opening. You're getting a sweet, something sweet. I'm gonna wait for that phone to finish. Hey, Hannah, can you turn off my phone? All right, it's all right, all good. All right, this is super complex. I'm getting like a caramel vibe out of it. Yeah. I'm not getting the same vibrance, freshness, summer from as in 21. You know what I was afraid of? I was afraid that in the end, I was at 21 and 22 because they're meant to be a celebration to the ATP, that they were going to be kind of similar. But I, I just, like I said, I, I got into this place and I just wanted to push the button. I wanted to do a, a, a blind buy. And so I'm like, you know, I'm, I know I'm going to buy 22 because it just makes sense. I'm a collector and you're going to have the collections. Um, but this is completely, this is two different fragrances now. Oh man, I'm getting... Sweet. It is sweet, but there's like some woods, like a, but a, a softer wood, like a, a, a guayac or a sandalwood, like a white wood. It's awesome. You can see the coloring. Have a look at this. So this is 21. The coloring on that is 
very nice is nice and light and now look at the coloring on 22 so there are there is a significant difference between these two fragrances which is which I'm excited about so there you have it blind buying 101 am I allowed to do more blind buy? buying well the promo is still on with Zorja I think you've done enough buying and from the words of my financier, no more blind buying. No more buying. Oh, no more buying, period. For uh, now. Oh, we have to negotiate that part. <laughs> I'm seeing, for me, there are, there are some caramel vibes to it um, for Torino 22. The, this is more of an evening fragrance. So if I was buying this as a couple, then this would be my day fragrance very comfortably. And this would be very easily my evening fragrance that I would go out. It's not, I don't see it as a very formal kind of fragrance. I would be interested to see the dry down. Actually, let's, let, let, stay with me for a little bit longer. What I'm gonna do, let me dry this because it's already changing on me, I feel. Let me show you what's in here. So they sent me this too. See, there we go. It's, you know, it's the company that keeps on giving. You know, they just, they want you to be happy is what they say. So, have a look at this, we'll flip it up. So they sent me, as part of the, uh, when I was buying this, they said, hey, you're the first time here, so let me send you something a little bit extra. And so I could choose four fragrances. One of them was the new one, the Alexandria, which I love Alexandria too, but this is the Alexandria Oriental. So I'm looking forward to testing that. Um, this is Via Cavour, number one, which I've heard many great things about it. And recently on the channel, I released an episode on uh, Coffee Break, the Golden Dollar, and everyone was saying, you've got to try out Golden Mocha. Boom, Golden Mocha. So I'm going to try that out. And then when, uh, when I was last in Milan, I tried out this one here, which I absolutely adored. And I don't remember the name. It was, it was the MV. What was that again? I just remember when I saw the logo, when I saw the logo, I'll, I'll put it here. When I saw the logo, I thought to myself, this was, yeah, I gotta get that one again. So yeah, so they sent me these samples for free, which is pretty cool. Now, the good news is, I'm not getting any, I'm almost getting like an apple, like a, it's not gourmand. So it doesn't have a gourmand vibe to it. What are your thoughts, Andy? But I'm getting like a caramel apple, Definitely, it's definitely a lot warmer than than um, than Torino Twenty One. A lot warmer. I am getting eucalyptus, though. You are getting eucalyptus. Yep. Along with the sweet. Right. The, the sweet caramel. You've got a great nose. No, not really, because I'm not getting any apple. Well, I'm, well, look. I mean, I'm, I haven't. I look, and the other thing I did is I didn't want to look at the notes, so I have no other than eucalyptus. I, I, I'm just going with uh, the feeling of the fragrance uh, and uh, what the fragrance is saying. It is definitely a lot warmer. There are some woodier tones, I feel. And, it, and it's definitely not as fresh as this one here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wear this for a while, give me time to understand it better, see how it plays out in different um, situations. And I will do a review. I should do a review of 21 and 22, it only makes sense. Boom, that was it. So that was the unboxing, blind buying. Maybe this could become a thing. I could do this like, Sandra, give me the no. Do I have a, do I have a thumbs up? I'm not getting anything. Thanks everyone. We'll see you guys all on the next episode. Done? Done. What do you think of it? Man, I'm getting a caramel vibe out of it. I'm getting the sweet, which to me is the caramel. Yeah. But I'm getting more like a menthol, right. more than eucalyptus. But I, I guess that's the eucalyptus. Mm. No, not a huge fan. Don't love it. Yet. Caramel is just doing well. I did that on purpose because Sandra wasn't saying anything. So now we'll see you guys all on the next episode. Rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to put me on there. The this. only camera that was that stopped rolling was Sandra's camera. So we kept rolling because she was being very quiet. So now we're getting the real Sandra.
Sandra's not a fan. But maybe in time, she'll love it. Like she loves me. <laughs> it took her a while for her to love, fall in love with me. Actually, no, you fell in love with me instantly. Stop it. Actually, it took me a while to fall in love oh, with her. No, I guess not true. I fell in love with her instantly. Okay. You're done. And we're done. We'll see you guys all on the next episode. This is like a Lord of the Rings movie with 15 different endings. Um, how funny was Sandra? <laughs> she was very, uh, uh, prior to start, starting to film, I said to her, you know, just you, you, you interject as you want to. Camera started to roll and she's like, I'm not saying a word. And then it wasn't until I said I'm done that she's now letting me know her thoughts. This fragrance, I forgot to put the dry down. So let me tell you about the dry down. It's been now about three, four hours since I sprayed. It's come down to, it, it's definitely an evening fragrance, in my opinion. It's very warm. Um, I was a little bit, I think I destabilized myself, or I, 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 inception-wise, I planted the wrong things in my brain. For some reason, one, the eucalyptus made me think it was gonna be like fresh and vibrant. That was the only note that I knew was in the fragrance. So those other notes that I mentioned. So firstly, I said it was leathery. I found out that there's saffron. Saffron does give it like a suede sort of a feel to it that was definitely in the opening. I then mentioned that there it was guaiac wood, which what I was picking up was a wood like, but not not a heavy wood, almost like a, a very light blonde kind of wood. And guaiac wood is in in the um, in the fragrance. There's also I think it said dry woods was also in there. So there is a, a woody tone to it. There is no apple <laughs> and there is no caramel. I said both. I'm you know it smells like a caramel apple. But to my nose, I'm getting a caramel apple vibe. I'm still getting it now. It's a warm, rich, uh, much deeper scent. I, I think, I, like I said, I think I, I created a, a level of inception. I shouldn't have sprayed Torino 21. Uh, for some reason, I thought it was gonna be too freshy, so, so too vibrant. Makes sense that you have a, a fresh one with Torino and something a little bit more deeper. Um, and or not, it's not ambery. It's not ambery. Um, there's still a lightness. And I think Sandra was saying that um, when she, actually, when she left, she said, actually, I, I don't mind this fragrance, um, but she is picking up the eucalypt. I am not picking up the eucalyptus at all. I do tend to pick up on the eucalypt on other fragrances, but I'm not detecting it here. Whereas Sandra was saying that she was picking it up. She, her exact words is that she's picking up like a menthol um, note coming through, but I'm not picking that up. I still get a caramel apple vibe out of it. No caramel, no apple. But it, it's an awesome fragrance. So I'm gonna look forward to being reviewing this uh, in the coming weeks and I'll tell you, I'll break it down a bit more. I'll wear it in different occasions and that way you can see how this baby plays out. But let me just say, blind buying expedition number one, a success. And I only, that only means that surely I can do this more often. No, no, that, that, that doesn't mean that. Actually, notice Sandra's not here, otherwise I'd get something thrown at me. Although, I'd get something thrown at me after the camera stops rolling. <laughs> see everyone, we'll see you guys all on the next episode. Hey.